What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Omori. In the last episode we dealt with Boss over here. Who is still behind who is still hiding behind his little tree sticker. And well, we just got a little taste of the gang of who everyone is. I hope. Um a lot of people are telling me that everything is gonna become depressing sooner or later, but again, I am trying my best not to go through this without any spoilers and whatnot. Also, there were some concerns about whether or not the text was blurry or whatnot, and well, I'm recording this at 1364 by 768, if I remember correctly, and the only reason why I'm recording at that resolution is because, well, that's the highest resolution that my monitor can handle, so I cannot bring it up. I can definitely bring it down, but, you know, you, know, you, you guys want, you guys want higher quality, so, um, and... This is full screen, by the way. Uh, what you're seeing is full screen footage. And I noticed that um, if it's not on full screen, it looks even blurrier. So I will do my best to stay like this. Hello, I didn't actually realize you. I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If I can only find a flower puzzle or something, maybe then he would notice me. A flower puzzle, you say? Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. Grass sure feels nice. Yeah, let me let, 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 let me enjoy this grass or stargazing or not. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Amori learned observe. Interesting. What does observe do? Predicts who a foe will target next turn. Interesting. Interesting. Flower puzzle you said. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Building blocks. Puzzle! Hello! I like puzzles. A very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Can I not... Can I not take that? Or do I need to find a flower puzzle? What the hell? Yes! Yes! Hello, valid customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Candy, apple juice, snacks... Jack stacks. Deal small damage to all foes and reduce their speed. Present. It's not what you wanted. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I I'll have you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. I'm sorry, but I don't know what, the, what any of this is. Alright, a flower puzzle, you said. Where the hell am I going to find a flower puzzle? He's only interested in puzzle, a flower puzzle. Yeah, th this is the only puzzle that I see. I feel, I feel like I have, I feel like this is connected to it somehow. Wait, Amori, we're supposed to go to my house. It's just past the path south of the playground. I just finished playing some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Damn, I thought I could have gone. I thought I could have gone back up. Cause I, cause I didn't see what was up there. All I just did was go down here. Shit. Well, I hope I can go back and find. A flower puzzle for her because I literally can't I literally can't find anything over here it's I'm mashing the A button as much as I can Ooh, what do we have here a crossroads train station pinwheel forest basil's house all right where if we go what if we go west all right I'm going to assume that we can't go west what if we go east what do we have here? Let me go up. Let me go up. Transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Bro, my brother in Christ. I cannot do anything. Fine. I like how they just conveniently point that the person named Basil lives in the house down over here. Hello, who are you? Hello? Hello? Butterfly? Hello? Nothing? Really? Come on now. Would you look at that? A watering can. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone always sees the bright side of things. Well, you have sunflowers. You have a watering can. Can I not water your garden? <clears throat> to the certain person who told me that. 
a watering can. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Yeah, well, let me tell you, let me tell you, Basil, the... The first person that I, the first time I've ever heard of Lily of the Valley was in Breaking Bad, and if any of you guys have watched Breaking Bad, you know what that was used for. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures. They become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers. Uh, buddy. Ah, it looks like the Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since the Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is, now is the perfect time to strike. Come on now, Omori. Let's do this. Really? I have to kill it? I would assume this is like Undertale in which like you can be more pacifist or to other people, but... Uh, 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 all right, you know. Six damage, really? That's all you do? Right in the heart. Okay. I don't know if that was the right thing we were supposed to do. Ah, uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Omori, not already getting the hang of bad link. Here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Oh, facts. All right. There. Now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it through your pocket in the player menu by pressing B. All right, let, let's go all over the flowers now. Yeah, fuck up the flowers. All right, pocket. X. Tofu. Important. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says that it's smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. Omori. Boss. A little rough around the edges. Can be a foe or a friend. Alright. That's nice. At least you still acknowledge that boss is human. What about these? These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? No, I actually can't. They remind me of Hero! Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. <laughs> I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Uh, thanks, I guess. Thanks towards Hero. You know, I'll take, I'll take his compliment for him. What do we have over here? Ah, these are a type of flower called the gladi- Gladiolus? Gladiolus? Whatever. The gladio- what? Gladiolus, also known as the stored flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladius- I'm really fucking up that name. Gladiolus. 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 Reminds me of Aubrey, because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey! No, I'm not! <laughs> okay, let's move on. Alright, I'm assuming that... Oh, god damn it, we have another Sprout Mall. Oh no, not again! Uh, please, Mr. Sprout Mall, uh, stop twirling! You're destroying all the flowers. I'm going to assume... Yeah, he's not going to stop twirling. Oh, I see. The Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Ah, so happy means you have a higher chance of critical hitting somebody, but at, at the same time, whiffing. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want- Unironically now, why would I actually be happy? Hey yo, don't hit- don't hit, uh, Kel. 
All right, let's beat the living shit out of the Sprout Mall. Still feel like we're not doing the right thing, but whatever. If this is the game wants me to do, if this is how the game wants me to play the game, then sure, uh, I'll continue on with this. Hmm, we seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. An emotion chart. Yes, please. Happy, more luck, speed, but hit rate. Strong against angry. Higher attack, lower defense, which is strong against sad, higher defense, but lower speed. Some damage to heart. Some damage to heart goes to the juice? What? Interesting, interesting. And then you all obviously have neutral right in the middle. That's actually a useful chart. Thank you. Thank you, hero. What do we have over here? Whoa! What are these flowers called? How cool and spiky! Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> hey! Well, that too. <laughs> but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa! Neat! Cacti are awesome! Damn straight. I know for a fact my mother's, uh, she is farming cactus. So, that's cool. Ah, uh, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. I, I don't know. I just think it's cute. Of course. Naturally, naturally. Another sprout mole. Ah! Not another sprout mole! It's all good, Basil! We got the hang of this by now! Hmm... This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in a fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. It'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. Really? How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. I don't know about this. <laughs> I genuinely don't know about this. So that's what sad does. Instead of... In, in, instead of it dealing damage to the heart, this is juice instead. That makes a little sense, I suppose. I guess each each emotion has their own kind of versatility, their own abilities and whatnot. Considering that I'm more or less the guy who kind of just wants to go in and just go balls to the walls and shit like that, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end up becoming angry most of the time. Aubrey grew to level two, Kel grew to level two, Hero grew to level two, and learn massage. Interesting. All right. Skills. Hero. What does massage do? Removes a friend or foe's emotion. Hmm. Interesting. Even more interesting. I'm learning more and more as the time keeps on going. Oh, would you look at that? How did Mari get here already? Jesus Christ! Hi everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already all set up, and I even brought some fruit. Jesus, Mari. How the hell did you get over here? Doesn't matter. Managed to sauce up, and I'll be able to save. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Aw, oh, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. 
Don't you think so, Amori? <laughs> well, I, I could be a dick right now, but... Yeah, she has been pretty useful. Aww. I guess I have to, I guess I have to believe in, in a little bit of all of you. Think so. I butchered that so badly. Oh my god, I can't read. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Oh, thank you very much for the picnic, Mari. Let me just give it a good old save. Another save. Maybe another save at the same time. Come on, Amori. Have some fruit. Fruit is good for you. I'm right over here. Can I take anything? You want to have a picnic with your friends? Sure, you know. Uh, I, I'm not going to say no to a picnic or whatnot. I mean, yeah, we just had a picnic, but what's not to like about another picnic, you know? Thank you very much. I'm going to assume that something happens if I stay there for a while, but... I'll be honest and say I don't really have that, much, <laughs> that big of a time. Also, what do I hear down there? That does not sound good. Oh lord. Huge sprout mole. Uh, hello, Mr. Sprout Mole. Uh, is it happy, ye old sprout? Uh, I, I, I think, I, I think he's happy. I don't know. Yeah, let's annoy him more. <laughs> ye old sprout. Alright, I'm sorry my guy, but you do like the most damage and so like And so like I I, I think it would be better if like you'd be like the hard hitter over here Whoa, whoa, whoa no, no skill no skill just attack just attack Ooh, Unless I got I got a better idea you also pep talk yield sprout That way he'll miss a lot more Right? Right? In theory, right? Oh, he's already- he's already happy! He's a ouch, 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 that's not good. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you a little bit of- all oh, a little bit of the teamwork. Let's try again, Omori. We'll get him this time. Oh, what? What am I supposed to do? You notice anything different, Omori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. A t just attack and you'll see. Uh, sure. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, uh, oh, uh, what's going on? <laughs> what am I supposed what am I, what am I clicking on? Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attack? That's called a follow-up. After you attack for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Alright, fine. Uh, trip, wait, no, trip. Loser, loser. All right, hold on. Ah! What? Can I not do anything? Oh, brother! My brother in Christ! What was I supposed to do? Whew. Man, this guy's really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. God. All right. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Never mind, I'm not getting the hang of it because I can't look at anyone else because I don't have enough energy. Fucking hell, man! Nice, we're full of energy. This is a perfect time to use our special attack, Amori. After you attack, press directional key to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on, everyone, let's show this big guy what we're made of. 
Oh, all right. Release energy! Oh, would you look at that? Loser, 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 loser! 300 HP just obliterated like that. Let's fucking go, baby. I learned stab. I don't. Oh, Omori is starting to freak the fuck out of me now. He's the only one with a knife. And he's learning how to stab people? Come on now. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Hazel, I know you're not the type to, that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to him more to hold on to it for now. The self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know, when we gain EXP and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know! Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, <laughs> that's all I had to say. Patience, Cal. Uh, skills. Always deals a critical hit. Ignores defense when Omori is sad. Yeah, but I can only make myself sad. Fine. <laughs> Fine, then. Alright, Aubrey still has her regular two. So does Cal. And Hero has three. Yeah, them. Wait a minute, what was the other one? Oh, observe, right. Eh, observe doesn't seem that useful for me at the moment. Pocket, important. Oh, facts, no. The self-help guide. Written by your truly hero. Emotions. Uh, happy. A happy friend or foe will have increased luck and speed, but a lower hit rate. When a, when a friend or foe is even more happy, they become ecstatic. An aesthetic friend or foe's luck and speed are increased even further, but hit rate also lowers accordingly. Uh, sad. Sad, increased defense, but decreased speed. Part of the damage will also dealt to the heart will be dealt to juice instead. When a friend is even more sad, they become depressed. Higher defense, even lower speed. Dealt to juice instead. Angry. Increased attack, but decreased defense. They become enraged. Higher attack. Lower defense. Overview. I'm just going to determine how effective an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. Emotions also affect different stats for both friends and foes. We refer to the emotion chart. Emotions of defeated foes can grant you bonus effects. Happy foes have a higher item and clam drop rate. While angry foes will give out more EXP. Sadly, sad foes don't have any extra bonuses. But are typically easier to defeat. Oh, so I should just make people a lot more hang <laughs> happy than sad then. Alright. That actually... That actually makes... It actually makes uh, Aubrey and Kel a lot more better, I guess. What follow-up attacks would you like to know more about? Attack again. Trip. Release energy. The fuck is trip? Aims for a low attack and reduces the target's foe's speed. Attack again. Attack once more. Uh, Aubrey. Look at Amora, look at Kill, look at Hero. Let's get Amora to notice her so she makes a strong attack on the same foe. What the fuck? How much Pester's Aubrey makes her angry? <laughs> Whoa! How? <laughs> Making happy, increasing her defense. Uh, look at Kill. Oh shit, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Alright, what about Kel? Pass to Amori. Passes the ball to Amori, dealing one damage to Amori and making him set. Oh, that- No! <laughs> My brother in Christ, why would you do that? 
Cal pitches the ball to Aubrey who knocks it out of the park and deals damage to a random foe. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Stu ball to Hero who helps Kel dunk on all the foes <laughs> dealing damage. Nice, nice. Oh, what about Hero? I call Omori. Hero calls Omori, Omori attacks and Hero heals 15% of Omori, Omori's heart with words of encouragement. That's actually, that's actually strong right there. Aubrey attacks and Hero heals 15%. That's actually huge. Maybe I should start following, oh shit. Maybe I should start following up with Kel because if, I mean not Kel, Hero. Maybe I should start following up with Hero. Because if Hero is the one who's he who can heal simultaneously, then that's a falling up energy costs three energy except for release switch costs ten. That starts with three energy and one energy is gained every time a foe. Well, well. Yeah, no, maybe I should start doing it with Hero. And bonus action. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. blah. All right, so I think the ideal point of view would be. Battle starts, I just attack again or trip somebody with Omori. Somebody gets hurt and then I do it I and then I follow up an attack as hero instead of Omori. Alright, that seems that seems pretty fine. I'll look at the other things later because a oh shoot <laughs> okay. I'll look at the other things later because right now I haven't really dealt with those things just yet. A uh, nice shoe you got there, Basil. Also, really dark. Say cheese! Ah, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it! Uh, oh, sh sure thing. We all look so cute! Well... It's blurry, no? How's my hair? <laughs> I wanna see! I wanna see! <laughs> yeah, let me just take my sweet ass time. Oh, hey, Amori. Do you wanna look at the photo too? Wow, that was hella blurry. <laughs> that is so, one of the blurriest pictures that I've ever seen. That, my camera is less blurry than that. <laughs> It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey! <laughs> I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn! Get out of my way, Kel! Wait, hold on! There's no need to fight! Me first! No, me! Jesus Christ! Stop it! You guys are knocking me over! Oh, nice job, you two. Nice fucking job. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh! Basil! I'm so sorry! Are, are you okay, Basil? Uh, you two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry! We didn't mean it, Hero! Uh, please don't tell Mari. It's okay. D don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Okay, hopefully that should be everything. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. R remember to wipe your feet before you come in. I kind of want to see what's around your house, if you don't mind. I'm pretty sure- yeah, no, never mind. I guess I can't really see what's around considering that there are trees blocking my entrance and whatnot. But why do you live in this secluded area, Basil? Here we have our, a bunch of potter plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. Blah blah blah, same thing. Basil, can you please tell me why this is a shoe of all places? Alright, what's up? My- this is his photo album, his most precious belonging. Okay, what's up? Are you ready to put back the photos, Omori? Sure. Yay! Let's get started. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. 
Uh, don't worry about a thing, Basil. Uh, Omari has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Okay. Uh, I hope this is the right one. Uh, this one is definitely the last one. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. God damn it, why do I need to remember shit? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh... Shoot. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Uh, please tell me this is the right one. Please. There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. E even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. E yeah, I, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again. Uh, unless she starts it first. Uh, don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. I hope that was the right one. Shit. Hmm? That's strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems... so familiar. No. D that can't be. M Mari? What the fuck happened? What just happened? Uh... Uh... Not much to do around here, is there? What is that? Pitch black inside, you can't see a thing. What? What just happened? What just happened? What was that? Uh, what do I do now? Where do I go from here? <laughs> shite, 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 shite. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dab? Why? Why do I want to do that? Why do I want to do that? Hello? That's not, that's not something I want to do. Uh, 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 do I have to? Guys, look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. Sure. 
sure are a lot of memories. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Dude. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Um, Sonny, I guess. The boy's name is Sonny. Uh, hi, Sonny. You kind of look like a Mori. Uh, can I save? Hey, Sonny. It's Mommy. I'm still in the city, sending things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrived. Also, sorry, mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the light might be cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone for a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since you put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. You are hungry. Jeez, thanks. Uh, not gonna lie, Chief. Can I maybe save? Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Cardboard boxes are littered all over the house. Special about it. A wardrobe. Very, very comfortable bed. Yes, I hear it. I am hungry. God, I can barely see what's going on here. Hi, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. XOXO. Bathtub. Whoa. Hey, that's me. Although, I can't really... I can't really say that was a happy-go-lucky way, considering what I just saw. Table lamp. Family photos. Yes, empty picnic basket. Thank you. Prologue. Sunny. Alright. I will leave it off for today. I have to record a podcast in a few minutes, so if you like the episode, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori, whatnot, and please, for the love of God, if you're feeling down in the dumps, if you're feeling sad or whatnot, talk with someone. You know, this series is going to tackle with some really heavy topics, so I think I might actually have to start putting a disclaimer before... Before the rest, before the rest of the video starts for the rest of the Amora series, but please, when I say take care, I really do mean it. Take care. You know, the, I I want every single one of you to be happy, to smile, to laugh, and if I could just make one of you guys do it, then it'll be all the more worth it. But take care, everybody.